What's happening guys? Thanks for stopping back into the channel today. We're gonna keep on cruising on with our Toolbox Tour series and we're gonna be speaking with none other than Ryan Bendler from Ryan's Diesel Service. Get you guys an insight on a Toolbox Tour from a professional diesel mechanic and fabricator. So we're gonna see what he has to offer here in his toolbox today, kind of putting him on the spot. We're gonna enjoy this one. So these guys here in the shop have been working their butts off for the last couple of days. So I kind of caught them off guard on this one and I want to see how it is working fashion right here in the shop as we go. So we've got Ryan here. We're going to go through his toolbox and see exactly how it is. So Ryan, you want to get us started off with, you know, how you guys got started off, uh, what kind of work you do here in the shop? Yep. You betcha. Um, started kind of out as uh, like every business uh, kind of a side gig um, working on my own truck working on buddy's trucks and that sort of thing one thing just kind of turned into another and next thing you know here I got a full-time business so full-time employees the whole nine yards so sweet so we've got all the guys here in the audience they love toolboxes and this is you know nonetheless as easy to see we love seeing these ones we got a gorgeous snap on triple bank uh, this is classic series yep pretty yep. pretty awesome uh, so let's go through and see what you kind of have sitting here. So on top, it's everyday work stuff right here. Chargers, you got your uh, radio here, computer, phone, all the goodies. All right, let's jump into the top drawer. What we got going on here? Yep, kind of socket, ratchet drawer, um, Allen bits. Um, Extensions, that sort of thing. Uh, impact 3 8 mid lengths, shallows, um, swivels, some specialty sockets over here. We got crow's feet. Uh, now, these are some pretty sweet ones. I personally don't have any of these shallow universals. I need to get me a set. So, as I can see, Snap On's the name of the game on this one. Yep. Yep, a lot of snap on stuff. Um, big thing, big reason why I, uh, problem I had was getting any other tool dealers where we were at at one point in time. The only tool dealer that ever come out would be snap on. So kind of had to buy and was forced to buy that because I needed to get my tools warrantied, you know, when they broke. So yeah, it's more of a pain in the butt having to ship stuff in Absolutely. back and forth. So Absolutely. getting them in person is definitely the way to go. You betcha. You betcha. Sweet. Absolutely. Down to the next one. Oh, wrenches, hello. <laughs> now again, guys, like I said, I caught them off guard, so if there's blank spots, it's because they're out and about and we'll find them here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a busy week, so I've been doing a lot of videoing, and uh, so yeah, unfortunately I haven't been able to put everything away yet, but uh, double set of ratcheting wrenches here, uh, the gear wrenches, really do like these. Tried a couple other, you know, big names out there, and the gear wrenches really, really seem to hold up for with what we do. Um, so those are kind of my favorites there. Matco, these are some old school ones. How long you had the Matco set? Uh, this Matco set I got a couple years back. Uh, well, probably quite a few years now that I think about it. Uh, when I first started back in this, uh, that set there is uh, probably about two, three years old. So not as much of a spring chicken as you thought you were. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Sweet. Next drawer down, player's drawer. Uh, again, nothing super special in there. Pliers, pliers, more pliers. You got it. Snap ring pliers, all yep. the good ones here on top. You betcha. Nice. Screwdriver drawer. Kind of I'm sorry. <laughs> hopelessly unorganized. <laughs> you know, catching me off guard wait, here, wait, Kyle. Wait, wait, yep. wait. Most important one, Most though. Most important one, we're going to leave right in front. <laughs> right in front. Exactly. Like I said, catching him off guard. Can't let him get into it too much. He's got them all, though. They're I, all there. That's all here. I know where they're at. Hammers. Cutting tools. 
Stethoscope. What's your favorite hammer? You know what? I do like, I gotta say, these snap ons. I do like these ones a lot. Uh, like you say, these snap on, I got the full set of these, and I really do enjoy these. Uh, I like the grip on them, the feel of them. Uh, definitely would say these are personal favorite. Awesome. Torque wrenches, um, gear puller kit. Uh, I do like these new snap on, or newer snap on torque wrenches. Is that the 250 foot pound this tech one wrench? Is, yep. Yep. And the black too. That's yeah, my yeah. man. <laughs> yep. I had to personally wait for that one to come out to make yep. sure I got it. My dealer said, "Okay, well, we're coming out with the dark one too." I'm like, "Okay, well, that's what I'm getting." <laughs> I got this in half, three eighths, and quarter drive. Um, also, do have an old school clicker as well in the Matco. Clicker? They still use click style? Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while. Bottom drawer then. Uh, some power tools that don't fit in the side uh, that didn't really fit in there. Some air tools. Don't really use a whole lot of air tools anymore. Uh, and then I got my big wrench set down here that didn't want to fit up in the wrench drawer here. Nice. As well as I got the fan, fan puller or fan. You got to gotta have that one. Absolutely. Absolutely have to have. Same. I rock that one. Same one. Phenomenal. I do love this tool. Saves you a lot of time and effort. Mm-hmm. Awesome. You ever love a paper and junk drawer here? Junk drawer. <laughs> Tell the worth of a man by his junk drawer. <laughs> nice. No, nothing that great. Oh, it's always great stuff in there. You're in there more than anything. Right? That's it. That's it. Um, here we got the thread retool or uh, retap. Uh, trans pressure gauge uh, and engine oil pressure uh, for mechanically checking it. Well, you can mechanically check transmissions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's people that still do that. Like, actually diagnose things. Uh, that's it. Uh, then we got uh, drill bit set here. Uh, reverse. Uh, compression chest tester here. Diesel compression, nice. Yep. And I do have the gas as well, too. Although, not too many gas vehicles come through here. Yeah. <laughs> back here ball joints I do like that one I mean yep. quick dirty easy it's not you know any kind of massive set but how often do you find something that this doesn't work on? Uh, absolutely absolutely yeah. it's, when you need it you need it you got to have something good quality in my opinion yep um, coolant pressure test or yep infrared gun uh, flaring tool, this is actually a hydraulic kit for doing the brake lines. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of jealous because I don't have that one either. <laughs> Cylinder leak down test. Which is a must have also for anybody doing diagnostic stuff. Gotcha. And then this should be uh, vacuum. Mighty Vac. Yeah, missing the vacuum, it's out right now. Again, using his diagnostic tools. How about that? <laughs> Up here, power probe, got a tap set, uh, brake tool kit, tape measures. I literally just bought that soldering iron from Power Probe too. That's the way to go. Love it, love it. More tape measures, got the extraction set here, uh, caliper, some picks. My own custom made tools for uh, getting Duramaxes apart. Look at those. <laughs> that you can't get better than that one. Pipe. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Yeah. That 2 o'clock really in the morning, you get creative. <laughs> uh -huh. Down here, just some miscellaneous stuff uh, extractions, miscellaneous hardware, nuts and bolts. Uh, PTO pin assortments, we do some stuff uh, here, you know, farm equipment and, you know, trailer repair and that sort of thing. You need that kind of stuff. Got the electrical drawer here, power probe, love this thing. Uh, power probe three. Yep. Can't say enough about those either. Use this, use this thing quite a bit. Uh, another big thing too, shout out, I love the snap-on digital. Wait, how'd you get a red one without the curly Q cord? Uh, Man, <laughs> I've never seen that one. Love this thing um, for doing quick, hey, easy inspections. 
Uh, another big thing that I use, glow plug tester, uh, block heater tester. Um, this thing's awesome. One of the local uh, electrical companies actually sells this that does starter rebuilding and alternator rebuilding. Uh, this thing works phenomenal. So, highly recommend that for sure. Bottom drawer then, uh, just my power drawer for impacts. Uh, got an old school inspection camera, as well as I do have a snap-on one. Like it, I like it. Now the majority of the power tools you use, I've seen some rigid in here, but Milwaukee? Milwaukee is gonna be the fair, fair majority. Uh, I was a rigid guy at one point in time, and unfortunately, uh, Kind of got sick and tired of having the stuff warranted out all the time. So switched over to Milwaukee, knock on wood, beat the crap out of that stuff. It gets dropped, it gets every fluid you could imagine, and knock on wood, I have yet to have to warranty it. Ticking. Yep. Sweet. Yep. So well, awesome. That was the last drawer in the main toolbox. Now you know what? We're gonna go play a little game and try to find the rest of them. <laughs> because like I said, he's been working his butt off here in the shop. So we've got a couple of we got brake bleeder. Pressure bleeder. Oh, the sweet Mac air, air hammer. And then we've got his tool cart with the normal stuff that he would use for some really awesome custom jobs here at the shop. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what's this? <laughs> this? This is a technician's tool? <laughs> when you're working in Wisconsin, I, I guess that's a must have. But then you got the Milwaukee. Half inch, one key. How do you like that one? I do like it. Uh, coming from the rigid, that thing, this one here, blows it out of the water. So, uh, half inch and the three eighths. Again, the three eighths doesn't stand a chance to the rigid. Now, lighting tools. What's your go-to on the lighting? You like these snap-on snap -on puck, puck lights? lights? Snap-on puck lights, hand down, hands down. I've got another scattered. Usually, I got them up here charging, but I know they're scattered right now. But man, I love those things. Um, they, Have you gotten a chance to use the e-carb lights, the ones with the that kind of fold out? Uh, I did have a blue point style that at one point in time. The only one thing that I did find about it was with where I was always trying to get to, lighting and that sort of thing. It just didn't really work the best for me. Uh, those things just always seemed to work phenomenal. Nice. So, yep, there's where we found all the rest of his tools, you know, sitting out in use here in the shop. And he does use them a lot. What's that? I got even cooler tools too. Oh, yeah, and look at these <laughs> tools. Now, when you're talking about toolbox, these don't fit into toolbox, but yeah. What's this one? Uh, this is a Hostile one. We actually just got this machine in uh, June, actually. Um, our old blade went down and it was time to upgrade, so we said it's uh, going to buy a new one and uh, get some warranty. So, a really nice machine. We really love it. Works phenomenal. Uh, then we got the old Bridgeport back there, the BMC 1000. Uh, that old girl just works. Um, Excuse me, I gotta do a water pump job. Excuse me. <laughs> Earl, get back to work. Hey, hey Ryan, can I use your toolbox? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, very great, very awesome. All these tools here in this amazing shop. It's really great to see what we can get done in an amazing shop. Ryan does awesome work. He does custom things. If you guys haven't checked him out already, make sure you go over to ryansdieselservice.com. Get a hold of him over there. He does some great work on uh, Duramax parts, and they do really great work on turbos. As you can see here, they've got a couple of them ready to ship out all the time, ready to rock and roll. They got a couple of transfer cases from Mark over at Kodiak here on the back line too. A couple of them in stock ready to go. All right, guys, well, that's about all we've got for you today. Big thank you to Ryan from Ryan's Diesel Service for giving us the tour here in the shop and getting to see an inside look at his toolbox, toolbox door, seeing what he uses on an everyday basis. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me if you guys want to see more of these, and if so, what kind of industry are you wanting to see on these toolbox tours? Because I know the fascination of it. You guys want to see tools, more tools. I've got a tool problem, and I want to see how everybody else copes with it. <laughs> but it's really something awesome to see. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. Now in working with Ryan over here at Ryan's Diesel Service, he's got tons of awesome tools and I know every single one of you guys absolutely love tools. Me personally, my biggest problem I have is with lighting. I've got tons and tons of light and as a technician here in the US, you can never have enough lights. 
things are always going to go dead on you. You're always going to need light in lots of spots. So we've got a great promotion going on here for you. I do a lot of work with SP Tools USA, and they're going to be doing an amazing little sale here coming up this Black Friday through Cyber Monday weekend. They're going to be offering up their top seven best selling lights on their website, and they're going to be bringing it to you for some really amazing discount prices. They're going to be slashing the prices down low enough to where I couldn't even get that discount pretty much when I would want to go to buy them. So you guys need to jump in on this one. I'll be putting up the link down below to their site to be able to get a hold of any of these amazing deals on SP Tools USA's lights. They're amazing. They do a great job. Their lumen counts are off the charts. You need to make sure you go over to the website and check them out. Like I said, this promotion is going to be going on this Black Friday all the way through till midnight on Cyber Monday. Make sure you go and check them out. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool, awesome content just like this one today. I appreciate everybody stopping into the channel. We've got lots of really great things coming your way. All you technicians, you need to just make sure you guys stay awesome.